and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. I am a very happy man right now because the first two parts of this took about 18 hours to upload. The uh, file sizes were, were larger than a gigabyte. So I got fairly desperate and uh, instead of rendering it in Corel Visual uh, uh, Video Studio Pro, I changed to the uh, Camtasia video editor. And after rendering the last video, which was uh, Fenrir's run number two, uh, that was about 587 megabytes rendered in Corel, I rendered it in uh, the Camtasia studio, and it turned out to be 30 megabytes with music and everything. So not waiting 18 hours to upload a video is very nice, and uh, I'm very happy about this. So uh, hopefully I should be able to put up a lot more videos and uh, I haven't been playing very well in Crawl today so I hope I'm in the right headspace to uh, to get going here. I just did a test run with a wizard here and I died on the third or fourth level. So let's go back to... Uh, what was his name? He's got to be here somewhere. Auric, yeah. And here we go, in the lair. Let's uh, do a little review here. Traps and Doors is at 2.5. Our spellcasting is coming along nicely. Our Invocations is getting up there. I'm probably going to turn off Invocations around 4, I think. And, uh, for now, anyway. And I might turn off Stealth around 8. And uh, Traps and Doors I'll leave on until it gets to about 10. And then I'm going to turn some Fighting on uh, to get some extra hit points. But we should be alright. Uh... The worries I have right now is that we don't have any poison resistance, we haven't found too many rings, and our armor class isn't very good. So what I was thinking of doing was uh, just checking out a few of the robes that were lying around in the dungeon. And we can see there there's a robe plus one, I'm not, I'm not sure what that means. But we haven't really checked out these robes. Uh, so I'm just going to I'm just going to check the ones out that are on level eight and wear them and see what happens. And here we go. This is where the uh, I, upon re reviewing the video, I saw it was the white that drained me with this glowing halberd here. And whites sometimes have nice robes. Usually, if they are um, enchanted in some way, it will say a glowing robe or an embroidered robe. But uh, my cloak didn't say anything, so I'm wondering if that's a uh, no. I was wondering if that's a, a something to do with the new version of Crawl. So let's drop this robe. Because an elven robe is better for us than a normal robe. I'm not really sure what the difference is. but uh, Let's try this one. I'm sure we're going to find something sooner or later. No, this is just a normal robe. Nice green robe, but normal. And let's just try this one. And another normal robe. Um, so I don't think we're going to have much luck with this. I'm just going to give up. We'll put on our old elven robe. Uh, hello. There must be an enemy here. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to abandon the putting on of the robe. And we're going to stone arrow him to death. If we can hit him. Oh, he's hitting us with a halberd. Uh, we have absolutely no armor class now, so we're going to put stone arrow on. Or, uh, stone skin on. And hopefully f finish him off. There we go. And now we can wear our robe. And drop this one. Uh, there was something else I wanted to do up above in the dungeon, but uh, I think let's clear out the first floor of the lair first. Our s oh, here's a book. Excellent. This is what I've been waiting for. Uh, first of all, we're going to eat this frog. We have the book, and let's read it and see what it is. This is exactly what I wanted. A book of minor magic. This is just beautiful. We're going to get Blink right away. And what else could we use here? We might get Call Imp. Because
because I will need some summonings and uh, it won't be useful for too much longer but with Sifmuna I can always uh, here's trouble player ghost with Sifmuna I can always uh, I can always forget spells easily okay we're at full mana we're near a staircase we're going to put on stone skin and he hit me with a magic dart let's uh, it appears that he's just a normal wizard yep immune to poison which is fine so he's got magic dart but he does most likely have mephitic cloud which could prove troublesome I will call an imp and he did the same I'm gonna take a step towards him and now he's in range of my stone arrow he shouldn't have any more hit points than me so hopefully two or three stone arrows will take him down if I can hit him which I did I think that was just one hit of stone arrow so you see how much damage it did to him and all he can do to me is mephitic cloud which is bad or uh, magic dart me which I can most likely survive and here comes somebody else drawn by all the chaos I'm more worried about his imp hitting me than anything else as soon as I get damaged again I'm gonna drink a potion of heal wounds okay that took him out and I think it's time to blink and that wasn't the best blink I hope, hope to be able to blink a little further away so I'm gonna try again and again and we're going to take out this uh, giant centipede. Okay, he's dead. I have no idea why it says a giant centipede translocational energy. But uh, we're out of mana, so we're going to uh, get out of here now. And flee from this imp. Because he'll disappear shortly. I didn't see him disappear, but I imagine he has. Okay, back into the lair. A black bear zombie. Somebody raised the dead here, so let's take out the zombie. That improved our traps and doors. Now, green rats usually come in uh, packs. So we'll draw this one off. Stone arrow, rest, and attentively poke our head around the corner. And yes, you can see that there is a pack of green rats. So I'm going to move back, shout, and try to group them around the wall so I can use Lee's rapid deconstruction. Well, that only killed one of them. Bit of a waste of mana there. comes another one and that's it oh a hydra okay these guys are very tough um, let's take a look at them here seven headed hydra so when he gets in in melee range of me he can hit me seven times in one turn so obviously you do not want to get anywhere near him uh, but I believe I can take him out first of all we're going to hit him with Ali's rapid deconstruction he's right beside a wall and another Lee's rapid deconstruction and stone arrow a couple times should drop him and that's drawn a bunch of yaks so we're going to retreat towards the staircase and take a pot shot at the yak while we're at it. Okay, we're going to rest on the staircase in case we have to flee. <coughs> uh, the lair is a lot easier than the orcish mine. Some of the enemies are 
are tougher, but the orcish mines can, can get you into more dangerous situations, so... That's why most people decide to clear out the lair first. And I, I saw a couple robes here, so I'm just going to check them out. That's just a normal robe, and that is as well. Here's a bat, which we can just sandblast. Ooh, that's a lot of yaks. Only one of them has seen me. So I'm going to retreat towards the staircase. And when I get far enough away from the herd, stone arrow. And there we go. Invocations just hit level four. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off for a little bit. I'm going to want to get my translocations up a little bit to make Blink more reliable. What is it now? It's a 12% reliability, or 12% uh, failure. And I'm going to want to start to train summonings too. No matter what sort of wizard you play, it's always nice to have some summons. Now we're going to very carefully try to draw this yak's attention. We've got two of them should be alright. If I can get them both up against the wall, I can hit them with Lees. And that should do a lot of damage to them. If I don't miscast it, which I did. One, two, there we go. And Yaks leave nice delicious corpses, so... We're gonna have to switch back to our main weapon. And uh, forego eating the corpse, because we've got Three more yaks bearing down on us. We're going to have to retreat towards the staircase. They don't see us yet. Four yaks. Where did he come from? Okay. Back towards the staircase. Stone skin on. And you can see how uh, deadly these are. That was a miscalculation letting him get this close. I need to get towards the staircase. I want to get away from the herd. I don't want to spend another turn in, in melee range of him. I can use one of my scrolls of blinking I thought I had scrolls of blinking. I have two scrolls of blinking. They're very valuable, so I, I don't want to waste one of those. I'd rather waste a potion of healing. So I'm going to step back. And there's a bat in my way, which is nasty. Alright, we're going to stone arrow him. And ignore the bat completely. And he hit me again. It's time to quaff a potion of heal wounds. And the yak gored me again. Okay, it's time to take a chance and go up the staircase, and thank god they backed off. Now this is troublesome because now there's yaks around the stairs. So I'm going to go down with a couple imps. Three yaks around the stairs. This is, this is bad. It's time to blink. And that's a pretty good place to blink. I'm going to continue to back off, and when they get close to the wall, we're going to hit them with a least rapid deconstruction. And if our white imp gets in the way, that's just too bad. And we're going to back off. That close one we can finish with stone arrow, and luckily the bat got in the way. And now's the time to stone arrow. Okay, we've got four yaks after us, but as soon as they all get close to the wall, now we can hit them with Lee's Rapid Deconstruction, and we have enough mana to most likely survive this encounter. Lee's, Lee's, I don't want to kill that bat because he's a bit of a buffer between us. There we go, up to level 11. 
more. And another. Oh, and there's two more yaks. Luckily, there's a staircase right here. So we are going to retreat back upstairs and rest. Our, uh, our piety with Sif Muna has gone up. We should begin to get some gifts soon. And if we go back down the staircase, we should we should return to our original staircase of descent rather than the one we ascended up to. And there we go. So let's go hunt down those yaks. There we go. Hello, yaks. How about some wall chunks for you? And we'll finish them off with stone arrow. And we've got a lot to eat here. Uh, if nothing bothers us. And a fine meal of nice clean yak flesh. Beautiful. We should be able to get to uh, full sediation here. There we go. Rest up to recover our mana and continue on. This has proven to be a fairly difficult first level of the lair. Uh, we're going to lease the wall here and try to get as many of these guys as possible in range. That should kill most of them. And the rest we can pick off with our stone arrow just in time to protect ourselves from the spiny frog. Those guys can be pretty nasty. So again, we're going to stay close to the staircase. And there's a staircase right there I, should, I could have stayed close to. But I'm not too concerned since I have... You see how fast uh, the spiny frog was able to move there. But I have blink. So I'm just going to blink cast it. Thankfully he didn't hit me and continue to pelt him with stone arrows and then back upstairs where it's safe. Relatively safe. Let's just check our translocations. I'll turn it off when it gets to two and then I'll start uh, training summoning. And back down we go. And another book. This is... Uh, proving to be fruitful. I'm starting my library already. Let's see what this book has in it. This is exactly what I wanted. This is a book of the earth which has higher level earth spells in it. And I really couldn't ask for a better book to find than this right now. In particular, Iron Shots is what I'm going to need, and Statue Form as well. Uh, but I'm just not sure how many spell levels I have left. I can only memorize one of them, unless I forget one of, uh, one of the spells I already have memorized. And I'm just wondering which to memorize, Statue Form or Iron Shot. Let's just uh, read about Statue Form here. Transforms the caster into a slow-moving but extremely robust stone statue capable of dealing monstrous blows with weapons or bare fists. The caster's stone body is insulated from electricity and gains resistance to poison, rotting, and negative energy. That's very good. Especially the poison resist. If I don't find a ring of poison resist, I will need something. But for now, I think we're going to go with iron shots and we're going to memorize statue form as soon as the spell levels become available. And there we go. We have it memorized. Iron Shot is a uh, level 6 spell. It uh, is a very powerful conjuration. 
and uh, you can see that even though my training in conjurations and, and earth magic are, are fairly good, Iron Shot is still a challenging spell to cast with almost a full hunger. Uh, so we're going to have to continue training conjurations and, uh, and earth magic and spell casting. But our stone arrow should see us to the bottom of the lair. At that point, we'll start running into dire elephants and that sort of thing. And those guys are going to require a little bit of punch to take them out. And that's why I memorized uh, I memorized Iron Shot. And hopefully, more spell. To oh, it's Gastronach. Uh, Gastronach's a spellcaster. Uh, let's read about him here. I don't think he's ever actually killed me. He's very slow. A voracious and surprisingly intelligent slug devoted to eating everything and everyone he comes across, with a pointed hat perched rakishly atop his head. He acquired the hat the same way he acquired his intelligence and his knowledge of spells, by consuming their former owner, a powerful wizard. Well, Gastronach's good to kill because I do need a hat, and he usually or if you're lucky he has a hat which increases your intelligence um, and this is a good candidate for iron shot and I don't know what button I'm pressing but I'm pressing the wrong one so I would like to iron shot him but we have about a one in three, ch uh, a one in three chance of failure here stone arrow should take him down and I do have a ring of magic resist and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the other ring of protection from magic so now we have two on and we're gonna see if he's in range of stone of iron shot and he is not so we're gonna call an imp as distraction and we miscast it so I want all my m oh he sees me I'm going to try and get him against the wall. I'm not sure which way he's coming at me. I want to be close enough to hit him with spells, but I don't want to get too close to him so he can hit me with his spells. Uh, he's in a good position for a Lee's Rapid Deconstruction, so that's what we're going to do. And he's slow, so I get two shots at him. Well, he doesn't have a chance to move. That didn't seem to do much to him. Stone arrow. And take a chance on iron shot here. I hit him, but it didn't appear to do that much damage. So I'm going to stick with stone arrow. Ooh. He hit me with, it uh, looks like, air strike, which has smite targeting. So he can basically hit me anywhere in his line of sight. It's time to quaff a potion of heal wounds. I have six of them, so I can be a little cavalier about drinking them. And stone arrow, stone arrow, stone arrow. He hit me with air strike again, but he's almost down. And there he goes. And my translocations has achieved level 2, so I'm going to turn that off. And I don't think I'm going to turn summonings on yet. I, I need to, uh, I need to, I'm going to turn traps and doors off too, because I need to, uh, get my spells a little more powerful. I didn't like how diff, I don't like how difficult the, the first level of the lair is proving to be. And I get Snail is coming at me. He's uh, he's slow, so I'm not too worried about him. And uh, I'm hesitant to use Lee's because I hardly have any mana, and I don't want to attract attention. So I'm going to pelt him with a couple stone arrows and make my way towards the staircase. You see, I can afford to get pretty close to him. Now he's gone into uh, withdrawal mode there, and he will begin to regenerate his health rapidly if I leave him alone. I think his armor class goes up when he's like that too, so I'm just going to I'm going to try and take him out. There we go, with my last bit of mana. Now I'm in a bad situation because I have one mana, and if anything else comes at me, I'm in trouble. 
So I'm going to use Sif Muna's channeling ability and channel some mana. And that gave me two mana, which isn't great, but it's better than nothing. And I'm going to go towards the staircase, climb up, and rest up, and back down. something up there. Yes, another wand of magic darts, so I'm going to drop the wand I've been using and keep the fresh one. Sandblast him. Basic sandblast without stones. And there's a ring, which is something I'm very interested in. And we're going to try it on. So, we do have an identify scroll, I believe. No, we don't. No, we don't. Have we identified the identify scrolls? I, I believe we have. Uh, how do you do that again? There we go. Recognized items with backslash will tell you all the items you have so far identified. And apparently I have identified the scroll of identify, so I'm going to have to hold off and uh, I'll keep the ring on. I can't be a bad ring, so... And there's a scroll of identify right there. So let's get rid of that hound, which I think I had an encounter with before, but he ran away. We're going to use our scroll of identify, which is R, and identify that ring. Poison resistance, which is exactly what I wanted. So now I don't have to worry about statue form too much, but... Oh, we're burdened here. So I'm going to go back to the initial staircase. And I'm going to drop my books. And that should uh, free up some weight for us to collect all the junk we find in the dungeon. Eat him. Ooh. Well, this guy's tough. Black Bomba. He hasn't noticed me yet. I'm going to try and take a step away from him. And another. And he's moving quickly towards me. I'm close to the staircase, but I'm going to hit him with a Lee's. And am I in range of that? Well, it'll, it'll warn me. I'm not. So now it's time to blink and get away from him. I do have a uh, poison resist ring on, so he can't poison me easily anyway. It's, it's not guaranteed you won't get poisoned, but... So I'm going to blink, and we're still close to him. I blink again, and again. And stone arrow him. Also, put on stone skin. Blink again, blink again blink again, and that finally gave us some distance. And he's down. Now that I have a poison resist ring on, I can eat uh, poisoned animals, so we're going to eat him up. And back up to the safety of the dungeon, relative safety of the dungeon, to recover our mana. And back down we go. Giant frog shouldn't pro prove to be troublesome, but we're interrupted. And take out the walk of the water moccasin. And uh, apparently we are overloaded again. But that's okay, because now we're going down to layer 2 and that is where we're going to create our permanent stash. So as soon as we clear this level out, this will become our uh, sort of home base. Uh, what did I want to do here? I wanted to kill this spiny frog. And he's still asleep. Let's just see how Iron Shot's going. And he's not in range. 
so we're going to take a couple steps towards him. Remember, he is a fast creature, so he will catch up to us quickly. We cast Stone Skin and hit him. There we go. And slowly make our way around the stairs creating a bit of a safe zone. Always retreat back towards the stairs to recover your mana. And I'm a little concerned because I see all this water here. So there might be electric eels around. And uh, I don't have any resistance to electricity at all, so I'm going to have to be very careful. And there's one right there. It's okay if I get close to him. And stone arrow him. They're not too tough, but their attacks hurt quite badly. So stone arrow is still effective. It's at, it's at full power, or roughly full power. Next, we're going to transition into Iron Shot, so we have to continue to train our Conjurations. And I'm not going to put Summonings on yet. It's nice to have the option to call an Imp or two, but I can't afford the um, XP yet. Trying to draw one of them at a time. And I'm glad that Stone Arrow is a relatively quiet spell. Because we don't want the whole dungeon bearing down on us. We're going to try and eat this porcupine without being interrupted. There we go, back to Engorged. There's some more stones. Ooh, that's a whole mess of enemies. And uh, those war dogs are a lot faster than me and there's no wall to lease them. Luckily there's a staircase back here and I'll never make it to there before those war dogs catch up so I'm gonna take a step back and another one and start pelting the war dogs and they're all a lot faster than me. So it's time to drink one of our potions of speed. We have four of them. So we're gonna drink one Looks like the Black Mamba is just as fast as we are. This is a bad situation. I'm going to read one of my scrolls of teleportation. Now, since this dungeon level isn't fully explored, it could put me in a very bad situation, but I want to get away from this. One, two, three. Teleport. Did I not read it? Yes, I did. Okay, we're going to take the chance to take one more step, and we've teleported to a relatively safe area. Whew. And we're going to retreat up the stairs. And rest up. Now those guys will be wandering around. Hopefully they'll uh, split up and I won't have to take them all on at the same time. And it looks like there is a, a, a sub-branch here. Ooh, and a whole bunch of white imps. They're not too tough. But that drained all my mana, so back to the staircase to rest up. And if I can, I'm going to poke my head into that branch. And Sifmuna has given me a, my first god gift. And it's an interesting one. It has Issachadrin's Mystic Blast. And that's a little more powerful than Stone Arrow, or it used to be. They just changed it in this new version of Crawl. So instead of being a direct damage one target spell, they weakened it 
and it has the chance to explode and damage everything around that target. I don't think I'm going to memorize it. I think I'm, I'm okay with Stone Arrow. And let's see if I can poke my head in here if it hasn't closed up and it's still open. Alright, there's no way I can get through with all that. This looks like a very dangerous uh, this looks like a very dangerous side branch. Yeah. Uh, we lost one of our potions of heal wounds. Yeah, we lost three potions in that. So we're just going to get out of here. And hopefully take out the spiny frog before we are killed. And we managed to do that. Let's eat him. And again, make our way towards the stairwell. I regret losing those potions. I, I don't even know what some of them were. They could have been at best a potion of experience or potion of gained intelligence. And here we have another Hydra. He hasn't seen us, so we're going to step towards him. Gingerly step towards him. Prepare Iron Shot. Oh. Okay. I'm going to take a chance on Iron Shot. And that reduced him to half health. Try another one. Good. Two iron shots almost killed him, and we'll finish him off with the stone arrow. And again, retreat back to the staircase. Here's these fellows again. And one of them has seen us, so we're going to back off. And try to take them on just one at a time. This is proving to be a difficult lair level. Okay, we're going to try and get close to the electric eel. Oh no, there's yaks too. I would feel a lot better if I had more armor. Armor class of 2 does not do any damage shaving at all. So I'm going to have to keep up. Oh, my stone skin has improved a little bit, so my armor class is 6 with it activated now. Which is a little better. But if I had boots and uh, a hat... The gastronaut didn't leave a hat, did he? Yes, he did. How did I not see that? Look at that hat. I don't... Oh, it's ponderous, though. Oh, it has magic resistance, 10 extra magic points, and 5 intelligence. And it's a plus 3 hat. But it's ponderous, which means I'll move slow. Let's see. Slowing your movement. Well, unfortunately, that's unacceptable. That is unacceptable. It's too bad. If it was just a plus three hat of intelligence or something reasonable, I'd, I'd certainly wear it. And that would be a great hat to wear, but I'm, I can't afford to limit my movement speed. Or can I? No. If I start doing that, it's going to get me killed, despite the hat's benefits. We'll find something eventually. So let's go back down. And we'll try to clear out the left side here. I'd like to get rid of those yaks. Yeah, yaks. So I'm going to stand back and shout. And try and get them against a wall. There we go. And we can use our least rapid deconstruction at great range here. And one more, I suppose, because he's out of range of everything else. And retreats. Get our mana back. And looks like there's only two left. One has seen me. So I'm going to draw him off. And I think Stone Arrow should be able to take him out he gets to me. And we have enough mana left to hit him with a Lees. Oh, there's two of them, so we're going to need another Lees here. 
And we're going to begin to stone arrow and hopefully get them both. I shouldn't have moved towards them, but sometimes you just gotta take a chance. Now we can start raising our intelligence. So it's at 21 now, and we got two levels of intelligence. Now it's at 23. That should greatly help our spell casting. As you can see, everything is hungerless apart from Lee's rapid deconstruction and iron shots. And our iron shot is slowly getting more reliable. So we can begin to start using that with, uh, with a little more leeway. Now we're going to try and take out this damn thing. I hate these electric eels. And we're going to try and use iron shot. There we go. One iron shot took him down. And it looks like we're beginning to clear out the second uh, second level of the lair quite nicely. There's a ring. Some nice low level enemies for a change. Oh, where do these guys come from? Damn war dogs. And iron shots. One more iron shot. Boom. can eat the big fish. No, we can't. Because there's another big fish coming towards us. Now we can eat him. Okay, sheep. They're no big deal. They're like a weak version of yaks. Even though there's a lot of them, I'm not too worried. One uh, stone arrow should be enough to take them down, usually. There we go. And they're also delicious. Yes, ignore. So this is going to be our home base, the second level of the lair, so I want to make sure everything is more or less cleared. Uh, the reason you leave your goods in the lair is that uh, the lair, in the lair only animals spawn. So nothing is going to come along and, and pick up your armor or, or weapons or whatever you decide to leave here. Okay, do I have any scrolls of identify? No. That's bad. We've had very little luck with scrolls of identify in this game. Usually you get a lot of them. So I'm going to go around and pick up my books, and might as well keep that hat just in case. Yes, 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 yes. Why aren't I getting these? Okay, down we go. It's very bad to be burnt in. It, it hits you, your hunger level, it uh, increases your move speed. So don't want to be burdened. And we'll put our pile of unusable treasures here. And the Gastronox hat will go there. Why don't I have my cloak on? How long have I not had my cloak on? That was pretty stupid. And we're going to leave a pile of perma food here. All the bread rations. Um, all the pears. The apple. Keep the cheese and the uh, the snoz cumber. Drop the chacos. Uh, you want to keep a little hand uh, food on hand. I don't really need to because of my amulet of the gourmand. But just in case we hit the minotaur lair, uh, you you kind of want about three items of good solid perma food in there. And if we do hit that, uh, 
there's usually some nice treasure in there. And I, I never, never pass up a chance to go into the labyrinth. What else are we going to drop here? We don't need five potions of curing, so we'll drop uh, three of those. We'll drop two potions of speed. We really have to get around to identifying those potions. Uh, we're going to drop the Wand of Magic Darts. We're going to drop the Scrolls of Enchant Weapon, the Scrolls of Amnesia, one of the Scrolls of Magic Mapping, one of the Scrolls of Teleportation, and three of the Scrolls of Remove Curse. And we're going to try out these other scrolls. Scroll of Unholy Creation, so that summoned a, uh, a horrible thing, an ally for me. I could have used that earlier, but uh, what can I do? Enchant Weapon 3. No, I, I don't want him around. Because if I read a scroll of Immolation, that will damage him and he might turn on me. So I'm going to try and get away from him here. That means blinking. I don't want to blink towards the staircase. There we go. Okay, this might be enchant armor. It, it must be, it has to be. So we're going to enchant our robe. There we go. So that means... Um, those three scrolls I have are scrolls of recharging, which means I can drop them because I don't have any wands. Let's try Y here, and there's the scroll of immolation. So that would have made the uh, the horrible thing turn on me, and I don't want to fight that guy right now. But apparently it wasn't that tough because that frog just took him out. And any other identified scrolls? No. And here we're also going to drop our stones. We'll drop 40 of them anyway. We'll keep a few on hand. And... What else? Uh, we're going to try putting on that ring. So we're going to put the protection from magic ring on again. There we go. Now we're going to go back up to the temple. There's a Komodo dragon. They're very nasty. But I'm not too worried about him. He's near a wall. So, please. Iron shot. Stone arrow. Stone arrow. And let's go to the temple to pick up that high-level book we had. There's a filthy orc. Die. Die. And if you press Control g or, uh, sorry, is it Shift-G? Yeah, Shift-G. You have a selection of, of where you want to go to wherever you've discovered. So I want to go to the temple. I just press T, and it will automatically take me there. Okay, we're going to pick up the book, and we're going to try and read it. Maybe we're high enough level to understand it now. No. So let's go to Lair 2. Back to our stash. And drop this book on the pile here, on the library pile. And continue on in the hopes that we find... Oh, did I pick up those potions of cure mutation? Yes, I did. Those are going to be dropped right here. And down Linux level, and where we find another book. And it's another book of the earth. And we can memorize statue form, so we're going to going to go ahead and do that now. And drop it back into our library. Even though we already have one, I like to collect them. 
Uh, let's try and cast at your form. Miscast. There we go. Wonder how long it lasts. I wonder if it impedes our spell casting in any way. No, we don't know. I don't think so. Our armor class has gone up to 25. And if we cast stone skin on top of that, 32. So that's that's incredible. I'm going to want this uh, this spell to be to be uh, easy to cast. So I think I'm going to turn my transmutations and focus on that as well, and take the focus off conjurations. And we're going to drop stealth for now. Always keep dodging on. And that should be good. Wow, the statue form is great. Come on, blink frogs. Now you gotta watch out because even though you have a nice new powerful spell, you're all excited about it, it could still very easily lead to overconfidence, which will kill you. I remember the first time I memorized Firestorm, I was running around firestorming everything. And then I ran into Marjorie, and she made short work of me. I wonder if I could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Hydra statue form, <laughs> but we're not going to fool around with that. Uh, we're going to use Iron Shot, and one more, and there we go, two Iron Shots took him out. And that's rapidly getting better, and, s and so is statue form apparently. In the next, if we gain a couple levels, both those will be nicely castable, so. Okay, we're going to turn on Stone Skin. And our spell casting's up to level 12. We're going to rest up, recover our mana. And we're going to test this wand. Nothing happens on the wall, so we're going to test it on ourself. Wand of Paralysis? Well, we don't want that. You need a fairly high evocation skill to make use of that, especially against tougher enemies. Okay, there's a Black Mamba. I shouldn't have walked close to him, but we're going to turn on our statue form. There we go. He's still managing to hurt us, even with uh, 25 armor class. And I think the du duration of statue form will will improve with uh, with the power of the spell. Okay, we can probably get all these rapid deconstruction in here, but let's just come off with stone arrow because they're fairly weak enemies and this guy would warrant an iron shot and a stone arrow well this run is going very well finding statue form like that is just uh, and and iron shot so early is, is just incredible usually you have to kind of struggle with spells that aren't really in your school and okay statue form or uh, yeah what the hell we'll run statue form miscast there we go might as well make use of it and we'll test this wand this is a wand of draining that's a lot better than our wand of magic darts so I'm going to hold on to that in case we run out of mana. Iron shots. One more. And we'll go back to stone arrow just to finish him off. And we're going to eat him. And drop the rotten meat we have there. Well, I've never finished this game as a caster. Oh, and 
doing stupid things like that is uh, is how you get killed. I saw him, but I, I continued to walk towards him, and I'm I'm not too worried because it's only a, a spiny frog. But uh, with an armor class of six, he could do a lot of damage. So I'm going to blink, and I'm going to iron shot him, which I miscast. So I'm going to statue form and uh, stand toe to toe with him and stone arrow him. I am loving the statue form. What a great spell. And poison resistance too, so once it becomes really nicely castable I can maybe even take off my uh, my ring of uh, poison resistance. Is my auto pickup off? No. Why didn't I get that scroll? Uh, everything is going very well in this run. The, the only thing I don't like is that I don't have any identify scrolls. <coughs> and uh, that's uh, usually there's a good number of identify scrolls in the game. You know, I've even had nine or ten of them by, by the time I've reached the third level of the dungeon. And if I remember correctly, I, I haven't gotten very many in this game at all. Beautiful. It's coming along. And we're going to just finish up this level of the dungeon. And I haven't been looking at the time, so I don't know how long I've been playing for. Oh, I can I can figure it out right now. 56 minutes. Okay, well, that's about enough for this video. So we will continue this shortly. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. And hopefully I'll be able to put out a few videos tonight because... Uh, of the increased upload speed. So this will be an operational test. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.